which Wi-Fi indoor camera is better, the Blink Mini or the Wisecam? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we'll be comparing two affordable indoor Wi-Fi cameras, the Wisecam version 2 and the Blink Mini. Which one will find its way to your home? We'll be comparing these two Wi-Fi cameras as to their pricing, video and audio quality, alert notification speed, overall responsiveness and user experience on their respective apps, and features that one camera have that the other one doesn't. Let's start with pricing. The Wisecam still is one of the cheapest 1080p Wi-Fi camera and retails for $19.99 plus shipping which at the end will cost around $26. The Blink Mini is priced at $34.99. Both cameras have 1080p resolution with the Wisecam having a 110 degree field of view and records at 15 frames per second. The Blink Mini also has a 110 degree field of view and can record up to 30 fps. So this is the video and audio quality of the white cam in daytime and my blinds are open and the lights are on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is the video and audio quality of the Blink Mini indoor camera and daytime, blinds are open, lights are on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is the video and audio quality of the white cam at night and with all the light on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is the video and audio quality of the Blink Mini indoor camera at night and with all my lights on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what, what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera Both cameras have infrared night vision So this is the video quality of the white cam at night and with the infrared LEDs on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera So this is the video quality of the Blink Mini indoor camera at night and with the infrared LEDs on and set to medium intensity and probably as you can see my face is still washed out and this is because the Blink Mini doesn't, uh, Blink Mini sensor doesn't really compensate. So you have to have those uh, three settings, a low infrared setting, medium, and high. So this is the medium setting, so this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. The WISE camera can record motion detected events and can also be set to record continuously 24-7 using a micro SD card. The Blink Mini can only record motion detected events. The WISE camera has two video storage options, 
It records the first 12 seconds of motion event to the cloud for free for 14 days. Or they have an optional complete motion capture subscription for $1.49 per month per camera, which it will record a complete motion event to the cloud so you'll not miss any motion. You can also install a micro SD card at the bottom and you also get the full motion event without any subscription but also you can set the camera to record 24-7. As to the Blink Mini, at this time, it will only record motion-detected events to the cloud. It has plans to have local storage using the Sync Module 2, which they haven't released yet. The Blink Mini also will charge for their cloud storage. If you are a new user and signed up for an account after April 15th of this year, it has a free trial right now until the end of the year, and then you will need to subscribe to their subscription plan which will cost $3 per camera per month or $10 per month for unlimited cameras in one location. This is for 60 days rolling storage. Now, if you're already a Blink user before April 16th, then you'll have the free standard 7200 seconds of rolling cloud storage that was included on their other camera systems. Now, Blink doesn't really disclose this and you can see this info on their support pages on their site and not on their Amazon page. Both cameras you can set to notify you when it detects motion. The Wise Cam has a delay of about 15 to 30 seconds and has a 5 minute cool off. With a Blink Mini, as long as you set the early notification to on, you will get the motion alert notification in less than 10 seconds. And the cool off is adjustable, which is the re trigger time of the settings, from 10 seconds to a minute. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Wise Cam, and I have set the person detection to on, and I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. It will be around 15 to 30 seconds. It'll take a while. And also the Wise Cam has a five minute cool off. There you go. So I got a notification. When you press and hold, you will see a thumbnail. And when you click on it, you will get to that uh, video clip. Uh, uh, so we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Blink Mini indoor camera. And I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. And the blue light is on, and this should be in less than 10 seconds. So I got a notification when you click on it. It will go to live view. And the uh, cool off period of the Blink Mini is uh, adjustable. Uh, it is the read trigger time and the settings, which you can set from 10 seconds to 60 seconds. Now with a blink, there is one option that is missing, and I'll talk more about this later on. You cannot mute the alert notifications. Its motion recording goes hand in hand with notification. If you don't want to be alerted, then you need to turn off motion detection. Now for an indoor camera, sometimes you want it to record motion events, but you really don't want to be alerted. Like if you already know you have people in the house. A lot of Wi-Fi cameras, including the Wise Cam, you can turn off notifications, but the camera will continue to record motion events. So just keep this in mind. Let's check out audio quality. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wise Cam. This is the audio quality coming out from the Blink Mini indoor camera. Let's talk about features that one camera has that the other one doesn't. Well, Wisecam has the other features that Blink Mini doesn't have. Aside from being able to record 24-7, it can also detect sounds. And you can get notified when it hears smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. It also has a time-lapse feature, which is why the Wisecam is a pretty versatile Wi-Fi camera. 
As to the Blink Mini, there is no particular feature that will make it stand out. It is lacking some features though, like the 24-7 recording and sound detection. As to Smart Voice Assistant integration, the Wisecam can work with both Amazon Alexa and Google Home. But at time of testing, my Google Hub is not able to show the Wisecam stream. But I'll show you the one that I did a while back when I compared the Wisecam to my EasyViz C1C. Show me Wise Camera. Okay. Stream Wisecam in Google Hub. Sure, streaming Wisecam on Google Hub. With the Blink, because it is owned by Amazon, it will only work with Alex A. Show me Blink Mini. Okay. As to app and camera responsiveness and overall user experience, both camera systems have pretty decent live view loading up times. As to lag, the Blink has some lag but not that long, while the Weiss barely has any lag. Now as to Blink Mini's app settings, and I have mentioned this before when I initially reviewed it, which I will link down below if you want to check it out. Blink started off their business by making battery-powered cameras like the original Blink Indoor and then their outdoor Blink XT and XT2s. So in their settings, they have options for recording length times and has a max recording limit of 60 seconds for the battery-powered cameras and for the Blink Mini, only 30 seconds. These settings make sense if you have a battery-powered camera so as to save battery life. But the Blink Mini is wired, so these settings doesn't really apply. Also, Blink still doesn't have an option to mute or snooze alerts. When you turn on motion detection so that the camera will record motion events, you will get notifications every time, which can be annoying. So what do you think guys? Which one is better? Any questions? Comment down below. For me, as to video quality, the Blink Mini has an overall smoother video because it records at 30 frames per second, as compared to Wisecam's 15 FPS. Both night vision quality of these cameras are not that great. The Blink Mini doesn't auto-adjust, so you have to dial the infrared intensity. This is also true with their battery-powered cameras. So when the subject is close to the camera, you will have a washout footage. Wisecam infrared LEDs on the other hand is not that powerful, so at night you will mostly have a darker footage. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share and like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And make sure you click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.